Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today it's time for the final episode of Mario Kart Double Dash. Because we've done the Mushroom Club, Club, Cup, the Flower Cup and the Star Cup. And today we're going to be doing the Special Cup. I've just take, taken a little bit of a peek here. And, uh, well, you got uh, Warrior Coliseum, of course, Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Road, and I can't remember the second one, but yeah, let's just actually get right into it. All right, so as you can see, I have unlocked every character um, because I've just downloaded a save file from a line. I didn't want to waste all that effort trying to do it myself. Why could you do that? And yeah, I'm just gonna go with Yoshi, obviously, but let's go with, let's go with, uh, PD Piranha. I've never ever played at this uh, as PD Piranha. I think that's literally the only one that's in this game only, besides Koopa Paratroopa and Birdo, I think. Uh, well, Birdo is in Mario Kart Wii as well. So anyway, let's just go with this. Um, and yeah, we also have the All Cup Tour, which is just playing all 16 tracks. I'm not gonna do that. Um, so yeah, the special cup is Wario Coliseum, Dino, D Dino Dino Jungle, that was the second one, Bowser's Castle, and Rama Road. Let's, let's go! Woo! Alright, here we have Wall Wario Coliseum, jeez. I can't speak. Let's just go ahead and do this track. This is one of the few tracks in this game. I forgot that Rocket Boost is really dumb in this game, but anyway. This is one of the few tracks in this game that has no remake yet actually. Uh, Dino Dino Jungle has a remake, uh, Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Road don't, so I guess that's an exception. Um, what? How do I use my items? Oh, th like that, okay. And it's a weird fire flower, okay. It just shoots one time instead of having to shoot multiple, but oh well. What the heck? Come on! Thanks game. Thanks. Can I even drift? I can. Okay. Would have made it a little bit easier. Or not. I just missed an item once again. Yay. Thanks, game. Thanks. Whoa, okay. Get, get. Yes, I got the double. Okay. No, oh, okay. Thank you for hitting the item for me, I guess. Alright, let's go. Okay. Holy shit. This track is also very long. We're not even on the second... Oh yeah, that was the thing about this one. There's two laps instead of three. Because it is so long. What the heck? Okay. Nice. Okay. My god, Jesus. What the heck? Can you just do normal again? Okay, what the heck? This game really hates me. I mean, what doesn't? But Jesus Christ. Oh, whoa. Okay. Give me an item. Thank you. And give me something useful. Like that chain chomp. I don't know if that's a special item though. It probably is, but whatever. Wee! Okay, holy shit. Holy shit. I probably should drift. That doesn't help. How do you even drift? But yeah, what do I think about Strack? It's a, it's a, it's it's pretty good. It's honestly nothing too special because it's just a bunch of turns and that's about it, but I like it. I do like it. Probably won't come to the DLC of Mario Kart 8, but, but it's just so authentic and unique that, yeah, I think that's probably the main reason why they won't bring this track back. Woo! Oh, what? Oh, you can't- you have a freaking horn on your cart. Oh, you can throw items by you. Okay, I... I tried that earlier this race, and I... It didn't seem to work, but apparently you can. Okay, anyway, the track itself was pretty good, but just got really unlucky with items once again. Anyway, Dino Dino Jungle, let's just, let's just get into this. Fuck that cutscene, and bam! I did play this a couple of times in tour this track I think but I honestly cannot remember a lot of it because it is a long time ago like I at least two two and a half years ago I think Marika tour is out since 2019 or something I think I don't really have a very strong idea about that but whatever 
whatever. The, do, the only thing I do remember is water, the water fountains don't strip you up in that game, and they do, so. Watch out for those. Why, why are triple shells special items? That's so stupid. So stupid. This track so far is, um, is okay. It's, um, nothing, honestly, nothing overly special. It does look pretty good, like those crystals there. They look very nice. Let's go this way now. Let's uh, go this way. Oh, shit. The respawns in this game are pretty good, actually, which is nice because, you know, it's not like, whoa, okay. It's not like Mario Kart Wii nice, but it's still nice. I don't think there's like, what the heck? I just saw a Tyranodon. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's called Dino Dino Jungle, so... Kind of makes sense. Uh, of course, I lose all of my items. Thanks, game. Thanks. That Tyranodon, look, I saw it in the distance once again. That Tyranodon just makes the whole track better. Man, not really. Okay. Okay. Whoa, stop. Okay. Jesus. Uh, one thing I really, really, I've said it a bunch of times already, but the controls are just so dumb. And I'll be happy that once this game is completed for me, I will just never have to touch these dumb controls again apart from when i have to do a ranking video but um we don't talk about that okay 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 wow okay wow blue shell on six that really helps thank you anyway track itself was um was okay i mean i like the whole vibe and wasn't really anything overly special apart from like the water fountains in the cave but it was still good <clears throat> anyway, Bowser's Castle. Let's see if this one um, is good, obviously, but um, better than like Mario Kart DS's or Mario Kart 8's. Obviously, Mario Kart Wii's will always be the best one, but yeah, we'll see if... Uh, okay, I got a freaking Bowser shell when I'm not Bowser. That's really weird. That is really, really weird. Yay, thanks, game. If you just had proper controls, you dumb fuck. I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding, but... Okay. So far, this track is just decent. Okay. Of course, I missed an item once again. Yay. Why are those shells so slow? What the fuck? Dun, dun, dun. There's a lot of really tight turns here, which I'm not really the biggest fan of in this game, but... You know, if... Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Okay. Help. Help! You probably can drift and make that, but... Yeah, that's a little bit... Just a little bit better if you drift, but not a lot at all. Oh, thank you, Star. <laughs> also, you drive through Bowser's head, which has been done like a billion times already. But, I mean, it's... It's a good way to open Bowser's castles. Fuck you, game, with your dumb controls, I swear. How do you even drift? I swear. Oh, it's... Oh, it's just normal R. Okay. I mean, I have my Switch Pro controller because I don't want to buy a GameCube controller for just one game. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah. The R is, is drifting. Okay. I'm glad I knew that already. <laughs> Oh, but it still fucks me up. Oh my god, game, I swear. The track is pretty good, but my god, I just... The controls are terrible, like, absolutely terrible. What the fuck was that? What hit me? Give me a star, even though it doesn't matter anymore. What? That was the second... I thought that was the final lap. I thought we were doomed, but nope. Apparently not. Apparently, it was the second lap. Okay. Yay. I'm having so much fun in this game. Yay. You know how people say this is one of the better ones? It's freaking unplayable. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's not unplayable. It's still it's still pretty fun. But holy shit, the controls are fucking miserable. Jesus Christ. And we have, well, we're not even done. We have Rainbow Road to go still. 
Uh, Rainbow Road's gonna be a pain in the fucking ass, I swear. Okay, can we please get fifth? No, we can't. They're already past the finish line. Yay, thanks, game. Thanks for controlling like a fucking bitch. Anyway, the track itself was pretty good. Wasn't that much special. The I like the like the big Bowser statue at the end, but for the rest, it's just fine. Anyway, the last track in the game, Rainbow Road. This looks pretty damn good. This looks actually looks really nice. The uh, little okay. Of course, everything has eyes again, like the clouds and the reflection. But okay, whatever. Anyway, the final track, the last straw before we finally own the game. It took quite a few months, but oh well. And now is also the perfect time to reflect on this game, just so that this video isn't two hours long. <laughs> I mean, I am gonna make like <clears throat> videos on each Mario game and like my honest thoughts and opinions on it, blah blah blah. And those videos are gonna be way longer than these, obviously, because these are just gameplay videos and not like that, so blah blah. But anyway, let's just um, already talk a little bit about this game. This track, what do I think about this track so far? It's um, nothing really special, but it is pretty fun, which is important about the Mario track. Ooh, we're getting launched. Very nice. Nice colorful colorful models, bob bombs, shells. This track actually looks really, really good, if I'm being very honest. And you know, the star having eyes and a mouth, like that star we just saw, we just passed by, that's fine. But clouds and and trees and fucking I don't even know what. Like I just Oh. I thought it was a potential shortcut. <laughs> no, of course not. That's not how shortcuts work. Yay. Okay, so, I've said, again, I've said it a fucking million times already, but the game's controls are awful. Really, really awful. Like, the amount of times I could have easily avoided an item or easily avoided falling off a track could have been, like, down to, like, zero if the game had proper controls like actually decent controls but these controls are just so horrible like i don't even want to talk about it because i've just talked about it so much because uh, i mean honestly there's not a lot of other stuff to talk about the track selection is actually pretty good i like uh, daisy cruiser i like um i like this rainbow road i like dino dino jungle wario Coliseum is pretty good, even though it was nothing overly special, I'm being very honest. Um, the uh, Waluigi Stadium is pretty good, better than Waluigi Pinball for sure. The first cup was terrible. I mean, it was like Luigi Circuit, which is boring as hell. Peach Beach, which is also pretty boring. Even though it's, it's not necessarily boring, it's just really basic. And then it was Baby Park, which is fine. And then Dryder Desert is obviously just complete garbage, 0 out of 10, F tier crap. Just like these game controls. No. And they don't, and they aren't like, oh, we, you've fallen off like three times in a row there, let's just put you, um, put you a bit further so that you actually have a chance of getting back, which I obviously don't have because fuck this game. Uh, Okay, you shouldn't take a lot of things I say seriously. I do like this game, but only for the track selection, only that. I mean, some of the tracks are good. None of the tracks are really mind-blowing, like Mount Wario or uh, 3DS Rainbow Road or stuff like that, but the tracks that are good are really good, and the tracks that are bad are, are really bad, like Dry Day Desert, uh, Sherbet Land is a pain in the ass, Luigi Circuit, Peach Beach, freaking Mario Circuit, of course. Yeah, anyway, um, seventh place. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. No tracks for trophy. Fuck you, game. No, I never, never, ever. Um, anyway, let's just actually take a look at the track selection. I don't remember all of them because there's 16 of them, and remembering 16 is already a feat. All right, so yeah, Mushroom Cup is 
actually like one of the worst cups ever probably just because Grider and Everts and Luigi Circuit really drag 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 this cup down a lot especially Grider Desert Flower Cup was um, was pretty good. Mushroom Bridge was actually super boring, and then Mario Circuit also relatively just meh. Daisy Cruiser was actually really good. Now that I look back at it, Daisy Cruiser is actually maybe a little bit overrated, just because the layout is honestly, if I'm being very honest, the layout is just is just okay. The theme is probably what's like like the the best part about it, which is pretty much exactly what can be said about Waluigi Pinball. I'll get to that in a different video. But I mean, this Cruiser at least still has redeeming qualities. So, yeah. Waluigi Stadium was very fun. That one is good. Sherpa Land was awful. Mushroom City was actually just okay. I mean, there's a lot of routes and a lot of paths. If you really look at it, it's a little bit basic. Yoshi Circuit, probably one of the better circuit tracks in the series. DK Mountain, also just okay like i really i don't really understand why people love that track so much dk mountain but to me it's just okay i mean it's a good track but like i said in a in a past episode the difference between normal marga track fun and dk mountain track fun are the difference is not much and uh yeah special cup probably the best cup in the game if i'm being honest all of these four tracks are actually pretty good my favorite is probably, ooh, my favorite, probably Dino Dime Jungle or Rainbow Road out of this cup. And my favorite overall is probably, I don't know, it's pretty hard because Daisy Cruiser was good, Wallowing Stadium was good, DK Mountain was good, even though I just said it's just okay, it was good. I think my favorite is either Daisy Cruiser or Rainbow Road. I think one of those two, I think. I haven't played, I've only played the tracks once in this game. And my least favorite is obviously Dry the Desert or Sherbet Land, probably. But anyway, uh, this video is really long, so not really long, but you, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, yeah, this game was uh, quite fun. You know, the track selection is 50-50, is probably. It's definitely better than a track selection in Mario Kart DS, but worse than the ones in Mario Kart Wii 7 and 8 slash Deluxe. Also definitely better than the one, the, the track selection in 64. I mean, the track selection in 64 is just, it's like two good tracks and that's pretty much it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and this series. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel and do more of that fancy stuff. And we'll see you a little bit. Okay, I can't speak. I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.